Hi guys, I'm just putting together this little video. Uh, it was in response to one of my subscribers, uh, Gavin McBay. Yeah, this one's for you, Gavin. And he asked my question about painting the, uh, the braiding on the Hussar jackets. I think it was on the French Hussar's uh, miniatures that I showed in one of my uh, older videos. And he said he was having some trouble with it. So what I've done here is I've picked out a sprue. I'm not actually working on this figures at the moment, but I've picked out a sprue out of the Perry Miniatures British Napoleonic uh, Light Dragoons box set. And uh, they, they've got similar jackets in the sprue for the earlier period Light Dragoons for the British. Uh, and they have braiding on them too, so I, I'm not quite sure how the lighting is here. You can zoom in a little bit to this one. I'm not quite sure how well it's showing up. Let me go out a bit. Uh, there's several different methods of doing this. So what I've done is I've painted up three torsos with the, the braided jackets. And I, I've given them all a base coat, a, a dark blue colour. And then one and then I've painted in the white straps and just the straps in the back, just to give you a contrast of how it will look. I haven't painted any anything else on the the, the torso, i.e. I haven't painted the collar, the gloves, and or any details on the sleeve of the jacket. And if I turn them around, there's there's nothing on the back as well, just the just the blue. So I'll turn them back around. So this one that you can see in the middle here. This one, I've, this is quite an easy and quick way of doing the jackets. So as I say, I'll just show you the colours here. I've used this colour, the base coat then. And it's the foundry colours. And it's dark blue. Let's pop the lid around. And as you can see, it's a British royal blue B. So that's the middle one of that A. Uh, trio of paint, 74B. So I'll base coat them with that and then you'll see if I just show you as well there's the torso at the bottom one there, it's got the blue and then the dark red, that one's got the, the highlight on it and this one here is slightly different. So I'll go back to this one at the bottom, so I'll put on the blue and then I've gave it the braiding, an undercoat of this one which is a Vallejo colour and it is a black red and that's it. Well, in fact, I've did that to all three. Uh, so that's that one at the bottom. Just the dark blue, the, the, the black red, and the, the grey undercoat for the white straps. Now, back to this one here. Um, as I say, I'm not too sure how it's showing up the camera. But what I've did is I've obviously painted in the white straps. But I've just went over the raised areas over the black red with a lighter red and that's all I've did here and it's quite effective uh, as I say maybe that doesn't show up the camera that well but the red I've used is this one a Vallejo model colour again it's dark vermilion so that's that one and I mean yeah I think it's you know it's a decent enough finish you can see the contrast there so yeah you could even go again in the knots that are more predominant yeah, as I say, the, mo the knots are more predominant. You could actually highlight them again with even a lighter red. So, yeah, it's up to yourself. Depends how, how dark and uh, how contrasting you want it. So this one here, uh, yeah, as I say, I did the base, the black red, and then I went over it with that vermilion red again. Now, at this stage, I would probably... Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to manage this with the camera in the way, but we'll, we'll give it a go. <laughs> uh, the other thing you do here is I've picked out uh, the Games Workshop brown wash. I'm going to try and paint over the top here. So, uh, yeah, you can do it that way as well. Paint in. I doesn't. I don't think it gives you that. You know, a lot more contrast than the other one which I've did already, just with the paint job. Uh, you don't have to use a brown. You could use a black. And then same again, how bright you want it, you could go for that with a, a, a lighter red or a scarlet even. And that would do that one, you know. Uh, 
So yeah, there's a few different options there. As I say, you could you could try a black on that one there because the brown doesn't really shade it in a lot. It will certainly go darker, as you can see there. Uh, you could use that on a black wash and then just go over the raised areas again with a lighter red. So there's a few different ways. As I say, if you can see that one there, yeah, that's just the, the base colour and then the lighter red. And I think that's it's quite good. It's same again for any other colour. You know, if it was white bread, then you could use a, a base colour light grey, then put your off white, then a grey wash, and then a highlight again with the white, just on the raised bits. And uh, once you add in the other details, I'm sure, you know, they'll, they'll look fine. Uh, so, yeah, you can give that a go. And hopefully, that'll help you a bit. I said, I haven't quite got set up to actually do the painting. I'm sort of stretching over the camera here. <laughs> it's not very easy. But hopefully that will give you an idea on uh, how to go about doing the braiding. And as I say, it's personal, personal preference, how dark and how contrasting you want the shading to the raised areas. If you want the very contrasting, go with a darker wash or a darker base colour. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps you. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.